So, you don't know anything about Adobe After Effects. Not a problem. The first thing I learned how to do was to add a video to the project. You can either go to File and import the stuff that you want to add, or drag things directly in like so. And I've been told that it's good practice to right-click, create folders, and organize the stuff in your assets. Now, you will notice that we don't actually have a timeline to control yet, and that is because our project has no composition. To create one, click this button here. You can ask your boss what settings he wants you to use, or just stick with the defaults like everyone else. Something important to note is that this is where you decide how long your video is. It defaults to 30 seconds, but if you want it longer or shorter, you can change that here. Once we've done that, now we have a composition and we can drag our assets straight into it. You can also drag things to this screen here. Just like in Photoshop, this is a layer-based system. So whatever you have on top is layered over the things on the bottom. You can press middle click to pan around. If you scroll up and down, you will zoom in and out. And if you want to fit to this window exactly, you can go here and click fit, or you can just hit shift backslash to do it as a high key, and if you press spacebar, your video will play. If it's lagging when you play, you can change the quality here to make it play smoother. You can also use the page up and page down to move the timeline one frame at a time, and if you hold shift while you do that, then you will move 10 frames at a time instead. If you ever want to reverse something in your timeline, you can select it and press Control alt r and now it will play backwards. And if you want to be able to hear the audio while you're scrubbing the timeline, just hold Control while you drag left click. If you ever want to trim things in your video, just move the timeline where you want to cut and press Control shift d From here, you can also use the Alt and Bracket keys to set the beginning or end of the layers to wherever you are on the timeline. And if you ever want to jump to the beginning or end of a layer, you can do that by pressing I or O on your keyboard, which stands for in and out. If you hold Alt and scroll up and down on the timeline, you will zoom in and out. But if you hold Shift and scroll up and down, you will pan left or right. Now, if you want to stretch a layer to a particular time, down on the left, if you right click, Columns, Stretch, you'll see a new area which will allow you to left click drag and control how long each segment is. If you ever want to maximize one of these windows you can just select it and press the tilde key which is really useful if you want to see a full screen. And once everything is the way you want to export the video with your composition selected go up under composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder Render Queue. It will default to H.264 which is usually fine. And if you want to reduce the file size you can click on the match source preset here and on the right if you scroll down under bitrate this is where you can decrease the target bitrate rate, which will allow you to reduce the file size if you want. Once you're happy, press OK. Under Output, you can decide where you want the video to be exported. Click the green play button, and you're done. Congratulations, you have now created your first Adobe After Effects video. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.